to another video of YouTube. You already know who it is. We have breaking news, but we have great news at the same time. It's an update on that Julio Fulio case. And as you can see right now, we got five suspects with three in custody, two on the run. We got the Murphy brothers, they still on the run. We got Alicia up there with the keys. We got Isaiah with no chance. And you got Sean, what she should have did right. But anyway, I'm gonna let, what's this? It's Jacksonville News 4. They got the scoop. I'm gonna let them run. And I'm gonna do my thing with the Ali U. Anyways, this is OG. Make sure you hit that like, make sure you subscribe, and follow the channel and hit that notification bell so anytime we drop a video, you're already in tune. So let's go. Let me see what they got for us. People have been arrested in the murder of a local rapper, and police are still searching for two more suspects. Charles Jones, also known as Julio Fulio, was murdered in Tampa last month while celebrating his birthday. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris is joining us live in the studio mm -hmm. with these new details. So Janice, how did these shooters know where, where Jones was located? Well, according to the Tampa Bay Police and the chief of police there, they followed his steps and probably followed him on social media as well as he was celebrating his birthday in that city. Tampa Police said Five people in total plotted and planned to kill Charles, Charles Jones following every step he made while celebrating his birthday and posting on social media. Tonight, three of those people are in the Duval County Jail and police are still searching for two more. As Charles Jones, known as Julio Fulio in the music industry, was celebrating his birthday, he was being followed by five people. Tampa Police Chief Lee Burklaw explained. A little more than a month ago, a group of individuals with the goal of premeditated murder traveled from Jacksonville to Tampa to commit a heinous crime in our city. This is surveillance video of multiple gunmen ambushing and shooting Jones. They are shooting at Charles now, and you can see that he's the passenger in that car that's moving and trying to flee. And again, they're still shooting at him. He's the right front passenger in that vehicle. Using three weapons, Jones died shortly after the shooting. Tampa homicide detectives and JSO worked together to find the shooters. Investigators say the five took extreme measures to cover up their crimes, but failed. 21-year-old Elisa Andrews, 21-year-old Isaiah Chance, 18-year-old Sean Gaithright, 30-year-old Rashad Murphy and 27-year-old Davion Murphy are all accused of playing a role in Jones's death. And they're all facing one count of murder in the first degree and one count of conspiracy. Surveillance video was critical in this investigation as suspects were seen on video following Jones from location to location. This shows the links that these individuals were willing to go through and achieve that this murder would occur. 4.15 a.m., Jones is headed to a hotel on McKinley Road in Tampa. One suspect's vehicle follows Jones to the hotel, but stayed parked across the street. At 4.38, three shooters exit a vehicle and walked in the direction of the hotel. They murdered Jones with a handgun and two rifles. Three others were hurt. Jones and others in the car attempt to flee from the gunfire as the shots continue. Police say the gunmen were Gaithright and the two Murphy men. The three arrested are affiliated with two rival groups of Jones. Police say they work to... Hold on one second. I just had to interrupt. Now, how do they know who the gunman is? How do they know who the getaway driver is? How do they know the young lady was the one that infiltrated his group. Of course, we know her from the infamous um, Don Julio bottle. They, they, they had like that his celebration party in the Holiday Inn, and they had that toast. So I'm pretty sure you can run that tape back. It's so surfacing all over the internet, so you should be able to find it. But anyway, man, there's something fishy about this. Three already locked up, two on the run. Somebody snitching, man, because how they know what's going on? We just now finding out. But anyways, I'm going to let them cut back to it because I know they got some more information. Together to carry out the murder. 
Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters has a message for those that choose to glorify violence. Florida, Tampa, JSO, Jacksonville, Miami, wherever you are, will not tolerate foolishness, will not tolerate shootings and needless violence. We not make excuses for poor decisions. Chief Burkhoff says the investigation is not over as police and the U.S. Marshals are still looking for the two Murphy men. State Attorney Susan Susie Lopez works in Hillsborough County and her office will prosecute this case. Lopez acknowledged that this violence it is disruptive and has gone on between at least two groups for years. But she said the fight stops here. Coming up at 6, we will hear more from the state attorney for the 13th Judicial Circuit. Hold on, y'all. So as y'all can see, they will prosecute these individuals to the fullest. And then they also got the state uh, prosecution and all of that good stuff. They, they, they ready to go. They already got the ball running. They already got the information that they need. They already got three individuals in custody with two on the ground, soon to be apprehended. Um, it's apparent that this information is coming from some source that's unknown at the time, but I'm pretty sure it will be revealed to us momentarily. Uh, my condolences go out to the Jones family, because again, no matter the situation, nobody deserves to lose their life, especially in this manner, or any manner for them. So, we all want to grow old and die of natural causes. Dying of gun violence is not the way to go, man. Y'all need to repent for y'all sin and uh, pray to God, man. With that being said, this is OG. Thank y'all for tapping in. Just had to bring y'all some update on this case because it's definitely an update for what's his face. You know, that was working in overtime. And he's on his grind, but he can never defeat mine. So with that being said, this is OG. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe. Man, stay out the way, man. Ain't nobody coming to play, man. Take your life serious, man. Because for these five individuals, their life is done. Just like the XXX Tentacion suspects that um, took his, his life at an early age. They out of here. You know what I'm saying? They doing life. You could be laughing in the courtroom, smiling and all that, but at the end of the day, you you became a disgrace to your family, your family name. Man, ain't nobody going to look at you the same no more. You can't justify this action. This is, this is a hate crime within our own community. And eventually, we're going to have to do something about this because it's... It continues to spiral out of control at an enormous rate. So we can keep looking at this as entertainment or we can start to open our eyes and realize, oh, well, this is not the path that we need to go in in these last days. So if this y'all kids, y'all cousins, y'all niece, your brother or sister, these are the people you should have been talking to. So in the future, the best way that we, I feel like we can prevent situations like this from happening in their future for to somebody else. You got you, you got to groom, you got to talk to, got to mediate, see what's going on, man. See what kind of path, uh, the direction that the youth is on. Because right here, you see a 17, 18 year old, 27 year old, 30 year old, all in cahoots, just committing a heinous act criminal acts amongst our own community. So something must be done about this. Where the red and our sharpness, where the uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, where the our sharpness at, we, we, something gotta be said about this because it continues to fly underneath the radar. It's just another rapper or another civilian being caught in crossfire. So with that being said, man, we got to start changing up the atmosphere because it's too hot down here. I'm gone. It's OG.